we're back. I think I got what, like two or three more fucking videos to do. Uh, the the worst part is truly just getting through these damn episodes. So, it's your boy here to give you guys a view for Real Housewives of Atlanta season ten, episode three, called Chateau Get Down. We're breezing through this, all right. So Cynthia dating a Capricorn. Hey, Capricorns run this bitch. Name Will, he's 41, had a child at 30, happens to be a daughter. They hit it off real well. Moving on, Nene, it, her uh, youngest son has graduated. He wants to go ahead and do comedy, I guess, find himself too. Also, Greg's in the hospital for chest pain and then later found out that he has a low heartbeat and they're possibly going to do some type of surgery. Candy Coat to Click. They got to hire a brand new general manager for the old lady gang because of the simple fact. Well, and with that, they're apprehensive because they have a real close tight knit this and a third. To, and she's even concerned because she recently spent $60,000 uh, in attorney fees uh, fighting Johnny from last season. And Carmen is starting an insurance company. I guess she used to do insurance in the past. And Candy is going to uh, invest in that company. Porsche uh, is trying to open up a salon, has a business plan. Her her sister get into it because her sister just like, you know, I do like, pretty much she does all the work, really isn't getting compensated for it. And her sister is going to get 85% while she gets 15. Porsche whole thing is, well, I'm bringing you along and both our names are going to be on it. But Porsche's thing is, it's my name, my credit, this and a third. They get into it and she, um, I forgot her sister's name that quick. Whatever. Her sister feels that, um, you know, I guess she's tired of the whole everything being joined where she's not just her assistant, but also doing everything else. So she's like, I just want to run the fucking comp uh, the hair salon. That's it. You do all the other shit. Fucking me and my baby will be on the street. So she's moving out. And Sheree is throwing a 70s party for her mother who has never had a birthday party. Her party planner quits, so she goes off on the phone, which I don't like. Part of me feel that's fabricated because we never saw this individual. Because if the practices were that bad, <clears throat> then of course we would have seen this person by now. I think this shit was drafted up by Andy, and I don't believe it only because I mean, given fucking business, you know, I just don't see somebody just necessarily quitting because of tension. You know what I'm saying? Plus, at the same exact time, of course, motherfuckers get deposits sometimes. There's, like, you know, uh, increments of payments, you know, and all the other shit. So, if it happened, it happened. But I don't believe it. Like, I think this might have been, like, a friend. Because she even went so far as say, you know, she will never come back in here again. So, that leads me to... It, it's, some, it's some fuck shit with it. some fuckery. It goes off without a hitch. They almost happy, and I mean that's the fucking episode. Where you come, subscribe and share. See you guys. Uh, I don't know if there's an, if the episode is going to air. I guess for y'all tonight, for me it'll be in the morning. If it does, I'll get the review out first thing. If not, fuck it. Love and hip hop be next. Holla.